the younger fans getting to meet their heroes oh. before a Sunday afternoon tilt. How sweet. What a what a treat. I know we always say this, but it's just, I love this. Okay. Okay, Mark. Now go away. Go to work. <laughs> get out of my get off my field. Back on the mound for the first time in nearly three weeks, Carlos Carrasco had a mild left oblique injury, got back a little sooner than expected. Lane Thomas leads off, homered yesterday to give the Nats the lead, pulled on the ground, that's right over the bag and down the line, another extra base hit for Thomas. And Lane Thomas pulls in at second base with a double. And right away, Carlos Carrasco will be forced to throw stressful pitches with a man in scoring position. And he hits one through the vacated space at shortstop, that goes into left center, and that'll bring in the first run of the game. Thomas scoots home to score seventh hit in the series for Luis Garcia and two batters in the Nationals have a one nothing lead. Well geez two ropes backdoor slider just kind of sitting there got it on the outside corner give Garcia credit went right with it. So an unceremonious beginning for Carrasco Luke Voigt right hand hitter pulls one on the ground the third picked by Escobar throws to second one McNeil the first double play that retires the side. The Nationals score one in the first inning. Two hits, no errors, nobody left. Now Eric Fetty looking to bounce back from a rough one his last time out. Two and two-thirds, six runs on nine hits against the A's. Buy him for strike three. 93 from Eric Fetty. Two out and nobody on. Francisco Lindor. Ground ball right side. Nice. Manessis will take it himself and a 1 2 3 bottom of the first for Eric Fetty. We go to the second inning at City Field. Nationals 1, Mets nothing. Carlos Carrasco will face Cabert Ruiz. This and the 1 2. Swung on and missed strike three. Good looking change up there by Carrasco. Two out, top of the second. Cesar Hernandez at first. There goes there. the runner, hit on the ground. McNeil hurries in to get it. And he throws out Abrams, and that retires the side. A walk in one left. We go to the bottom of the second, one nothing down. Alonzo takes inside ball four, and the Mets have their first base runner. There's Vogel back trying to snap an 0 for 14 stretch on the ground to the right side, and it goes through the hole. Alonzo stumbles around second, but there's nobody covering third, so he arrives there safely. They had three infielders stacked on the right side. Looked like a double play ball off the bat, but neither Abram nor Garcia was able to get to it. And so Vogelback thus snaps an 0 for 14 stretch. I don't think anyone knew what to do on that play. First and third, nobody out for Jeff McDeal. Here's the pitch. Swinging a high fly ball, left center field. That should be deep enough to score a run. Backing up Robles, he makes the catch. Alonzo tanks, coming down the line from third. It's a sacrifice fly as Alonzo scores. Vogelback holds on at first. And the Nationals and Mets are now tied one to one. And the Mets extend this second inning. They've now got runners on the corners yet again. Breaking ball, hit to the left side. Vargas will go the short way, and Eric Fetty does indeed limit the damage. Just the sack fly off the bat of Jeff McNeil for the Mets. So two hits in this inning against Carrasco, both on 0-2 pitches. All right, these are feisty little nationals come to town. Pesky Nats. So now Luke Voigt will bat with the bases loaded and one out. Voigt grounded into a double play his first time up. And he goes after him with a change up and strikes him out. And Carrasco gets a big out, his second strikeout. So it's left to Cabert Ruiz with the bases loaded and two out. Swinging a line drive up the middle, base hit center field. Thomas scores. Garcia around third. He'll score easily. A two out, two run single for the catcher Cabert Ruiz. Washington takes a three to one lead. More hard contact against Carlos Carrasco. Carrasco coming off the injured list without any sort of rehab assignment. He's allowed three runs now on five hits. Ball four. So the bases are loaded again. And the Mets are going to have to get around Ildemaro Vargas, a guy that has hit them pretty well over the course of his career. And he loops one into left center oh. field, falling fast. Canna can't make the catch. And two more runs are going to score. Manessis and Ruiz cross the plate on the base hit by Vargas it's five to one Washington and that's going to be all for Carlos Carrasco so after three weeks on the sidelines Carrasco's re-entry into the rotation does not go well having already surrendered five runs and leaves with two more aboard Trevor Williams will come in and that's on the ground to Lindor and he'll take it to the bag for the force that ends the inning but four unearned runs for the Nationals Fetty good start to this inning looking for the shutdown frame he's got two outs and here's Francisco Lindor and a swing and a blast to right center field. Robles chasing back to the warning track at the wall. He leaps, 
And he caught it. And he slams into the fence. And he holds on. What a catch by Victor Robles robbing Francisco Lindor. Fetty threw his hands up. No one happier than him. Fetty, who had the shutdown inning, retires the leadoff man in the fourth. Breaking ball, line drive, caught by the leaping third baseman Vargas. What a catch. Oh, did he climb the ladder to make the play? And the Nationals are flashing leather here this afternoon in New York. At the top of his leap, Vargas skies to snare that hard line drive. Got in the very webbing of his mitt. Oh, El tomorrow Vargas soaring. So he's on with two outs. Cesar Hernandez. Two plate appearances, both walks. And now the pitch. Swing and a drive hit deep to right. Toward the line. This one way back. Going, going, and gone. Goodbye. A two-run shot for Cesar Hernandez. Taking until game number 134 of the year. That is number one. A really unfortunate time for the Mets to go through this. They have been outscored 14 to 2 by the Washington Nationals over the last two games of this series. Bases are loaded, nobody out. And this is already the Nationals' fourth time around. And we're only in the sixth inning. Grounded down to first. Alonzo's coming home with it. Gets the out there. The return throw to first. In time for the double play. Beautifully executed. Even though Alonzo is playing back, he's able to start the 3 2 3 double play. Well, now Joey Manessis, the batter. And he struck him out with a fastball. Nicely done by Williams faces loaded nobody out and he puts up a zero but here's Escobar who's one for two today bats here with two on and nobody out and Eduardo bloops one shallow left center coming on is Hernandez and he makes oh. the running catch he dropped the ball but McGill will be forced yeah. at third base Nothing and now go. they're going to get a double play now wait a second tag him well, they've already got McNeil yeah. out. Now they have Canna out unless they say it was a catch. This is very confusing. This is not a catch. There is no way that he caught that ball. Confusing call by the umpires caused the runners to hold up. And now Buck Showalter will come out oh. to try and parse this. And I think this is going to be a double play. And there's nothing the Mets can do about it. Just a deceiving call by the umpire. Double play. Two out and Escobar at first. And Nito oh. strikes out to end the inning. Now the fans react, I think, more to the umpires than to the Mets. Seven to one Nationals, just like that. The Mets are down to their final out of the day. Well, including today, the Mets have scored 36 runs in their last 12 games, three runs per game. And he pops one up. Ruiz sheds the helmet and makes the catch, and the Nationals take two out of three from the Mets at City Field. Back-to-back seven-to-one victories for Washington as the Mets' offensive brownout continues. The Mets got to regroup. Panache is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.